Hello, thank you for attending the San Marcos Urban Transit Di District Public Consultation. Today we will be going over the proposed DBE goal for fiscal year 2025 and 2027, or third 2027. I'm Amy Cogdell, I'm the Transit Manager, and I oversee this program. Before we get into the proposal, I just wanted to quickly go over what DBE is. So Disadvantaged Business Enterprise Program, also known as the DBE program. Um, the federal definition of that is the Department of Transportation at the federal level seeks to have DBE program to ensure non-discrimination in the award administration of DOT assisted contracts in the department's highway, transit, and airport financial assistance programs and to create a level playing field of which DBEs can compete fairly for DOT assisted contracts the Federal Transit Administration Office of Civil Rights is responsible for monitoring FTA's recipients' DBE program and ensuring their compliance with DOT's DBE regulations found at 49 CFR Part 26. For fiscal year 2025 through 2027, we are proposing to spend federal funds on three different projects. Um, so we have fixed route service, paratransit service, and interurban service. We're also proposing to um, spend funds on transit vehicles. We need new vehicles, but those are not included in our DBE goal. To get to our proposed goal of 2%, it's a six step process. So step one of that process is determine the NAICS code for each of the projects we're proposing. So below you'll see each code for each of the project. Step two is determining a base figure, which is the total ready, willing, and able DBEs, which in this case is one, divided by all firms ready, willing, and able, which in this case is 24. Ready, willing, and able DBEs are from the Texas Unified Certification Program, which is found on the TxDOT website. And all firms ready, willing, and able is from the US Census website. Step three, we need to determine how much budget we're spending on each of these projects. So step three is the um, weighted budget, our percent of how much we're going to propose proposing to spend. So for fixed route service it is 64%, paratransit service is 27%, and interurban service is 9 Step four is determining the base figure or the relative availability. So this is how um, available a DBE is for each project we're proposing. So for fixed route service, it's zero. For paratransit service, it's six. And interurban service, it's zero. Step five, we need to have the weighted goal for these projects. So this is the budget from step three multiplied by the relative availability from step four. <clears throat> So for fixed route service, you have zero. Paratransit service, you have two. And interurban service, you have zero. The final step is adding those all together. So um, our proposed goal for fiscal year 2025 through 2027 is 2%. This is the um, spreadsheet that we're hoping to submit to FTA. Um, it has all the information we just went over, including the budget that we're proposing to spend, as well as how we got to the overall 2% goal. Now I wanna quickly go over how to find um, solicitations on the City of San Marcos website. So, I'm gonna go over to um, an internet browser. You can go to the City of San Marcos' website, which is sanmarcostx.gov. Once you're there, you can hover over departments and go to purchasing and contracting. Once you're on the purchasing and contracting website, it has a lot of valuable information like contact information for our purchasing division, um, a frequently asked question section for <clears throat> anything you may need to know about um, doing business with the city, including how to become a supplier, um, how to submit a bid, bid and all, all the fun things. <laughs> we'll be looking at the e-procurement online bidding section. 
So once there, you can see all of our active bids that are available um, to be bid on. Um, if you find something that is interesting to you, you can go ahead and click on it. Um, you'll get a little more information about what exactly we are looking for. And if it's something that um, you find interesting that you would like to bid on, you can scroll down to view documents. Once you do that, you can fill in all this information and submit. And once you submit, you'll be able to see all the um, documents that are associated with that um, bit solicitation. So these documents, you can click through. Each one is going to have a different amount, and I'll have how to turn in, turn in your bid, um, all the detailed information that needs to be included, and, and everything else that needs to be included to have a good bid. So with that, um, here is my contact information. Um, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions um, or have any additional information about DBE goal or just the bidding process in general. Thank you.